there any particular part of this you want to read? No, just you know, pick, pick something that catches your eye. I think for a lot of the kids, they didn't realize what a hardship it was. Sage and poison insects here. Sagebrush for the scenery. There is sagebrush and canals. Sagebrush and snakes and coyotes. They loved it. In fact, Ken found many letters about how with the money they generated from, from teaching, they would buy the kids candy. Moss and I have both uh, understood and appreciated the importance of education. What I sensed was they wanted to achieve normalcy. When I grow up, I plan to be a bus driver. Beautician or a florist. A jewelry store keeper. I plan to be a doctor when I grow up so I can cure sickness. I want to be a millionaire, a movie usher. <laughs> a movie usher, huh? Movie <laughs> usher. The kids all seem to be optimistic. I mean, when they asked about their future, they had very op they were very optimistic about their future. I have something for you. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Autobiography of Shokichi Tokita. There were towers on all three sides of the camp and soldiers were guard guarding us all day and night. I lived in Block 38, Barracks 8, Rooms ENF. When I grew up, I planned to be a businessman or a baseball player. Sign Shokichi Tokita. I can't believe I wrote that. Our, our playground was a sidewalk that went around the block. At Idaho, the scenery is very pretty. When the sun goes down, the sky is beautiful. Being out in the uh, desert with only sagebrush, you really saw the sun go down and beautiful skies light up. I think it was Shokes that said something about how she would call out his name when he was bad or doing something improper. And, and I think it's Shoichi, not Shokes, Shoichi. From what I heard, they would sometimes give the students treats. Do you remember any of that? That's probably why I, I thought they were nice and kind. <laughs> <laughs> they did love the kids. Wow, that was your final report. It was. And don't we all have those teachers that we love and remember? Yeah. And what was remarkable about those letters was that these are 10-year-olds taken out of their homes, put into a desolate camp, and they had beautiful penmanship. They talked about the sagebrush and the rattlesnakes, but Shokes Tokita talked about the beauty of the sunsets and the quiet of the desert. Wow. It was amazing. You know what I think is so apropos about this last story is like so many other stories in your career, you gave voice to the voiceless. Thank you very much. But we also have to thank our photojournalists, Tate Miller and Emily Landine for giving us that treatment, that kind of a historic but immediate treatment. Yeah. I love how they kind of came together and thanks to them, the story has been told. Well, 